Hi, friends. I'm so happy you're here today. Are you ready to sing hello? Here we go. Welcome to our class. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Welcome to our class. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Oh boy, I am so happy you're here today. This week we're talking about community helpers, aren't we? But first, let's talk about our letter this week. Do you see him hiding back there? What letter is that? The letter B. Good job. And the B says, B -b -b -b. good job. Should we play what's in the box? Okay, ready? Remember, all of these say, have the sound B. Let's see. Ooh, what is this? It's a boat. Good job, boat. Hmm, ooh. What's this? It's a b -b bell. Good job. Hmm, what else do we have in here? Oh, do you think Tiny needs it? This is a baby bottle. You're right. Thanks, Tiny. Let's see what else is in our box. Whoa, what animal is this? This is a b -b bat. Good job. Hmm, oh, here we go. This is a delicious fruit. A banana, good job. Hmm, do you know what animal wasn't in our bee box? Hmm, let's see. B is also for bear. You're right, bear. Hmm, do you know what else B is for? B is for all better. Miss Tiffany got a new book. This week we're talking about community helpers. And one of our community helpers is a nurse. And a nurse helps you when you're hurt or a doctor, right? Yeah, well, this book is called All Better. And we need to help our friends after they get hurt. We need to put, what is that? A Band-Aid on them. Are you ready to help me? This book is by Henning Lohling. Lohling? Ready? Here we go. Five bandages for five ouches. Whenever accidents happen, these friends know exactly what to do to make everything all better. Look at all these animals. I see a monkey, a dog, a sheep, an elephant, and a ba -ba -ba bear. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at these band-aids. Okay, here we go. Oh no, dog wasn't looking where he was going. Ouch, clean it, kiss it, and make a Put a bandage on it. Let's see, which bandage should we use? Should we use the blue one with a bear, the yellow one with a sheep, the green one with a monkey, the purple one with an elephant, or the red one with a dog? The red one, okay. And where does he need it? Does he need it on his ear, his paw, or his tail? On his paw, good job. All better, okay. Oh no, watch out. Monkey swung too fast and bumped his head. Clean it, kiss it, and put a bandage on it. Hmm, which band-aid do we need? The green monkey band-aid, good job. Okay, let's find our monkey friend. Does he need it on his head, his paw, or his tail? On his head, good job. Whoo, all better. Whoops, she jumped as high as she could, but she wasn't high enough. Ouch. Clean it, kiss it, put a bandage on it. Oh no, she got her tummy. So we need to find a band-aid. Which band-aid should we use? Oh, the yellow one, good idea. 
Okay. Oh, there's the monkey. Does she need it on her head, her tummy, or her foot? On her head. No? On her tummy. Good job. All better. Oh dear. Elephant got scared and ran away right over her own trunk. Oh no. Clean it, kiss it, put a bandage on it. Which band aid do we need? The elephant purple one. You're right. Now, does elephant need it on her head, on her ear, or on her trunk? On her trunk, you're right. All better. Oh no, look out. Ouch. Clean it, kiss it, put a bandage on it. This is gonna be tricky. Where do I need to put his bandage? If you see, he accidentally sent that on a thorn. Does he need it on his nose, his ear, or on his bottom? On his bottom. What a silly book. Dog, monkey, sheep, elephant, and bear know it's true. Clean it, kiss it, put a bandage on it. Makes everything better. Good job, you guys. Now, did our friends go and see a nurse or a doctor? No, they just helped each other. But sometimes at school, we have to go see the nurse, don't we? Or if we're at home and we're really, really sick, we have to go see the doctor. And that's okay, because they can make it all better. Good job. I have one more activity for us today, okay? We were talking about different jobs and different community helpers that are in our class, in our community, aren't we? Yeah, so look at this. We asked some of our friends and said, hmm, what do you want to be? Do you want to be a doctor, a fireman, a teacher, or a police officer? Let's see, let's count to see how many we have, okay? One, two, three, four. Four friends want to be a doctor. Okay, let's count our firefighter. One, two. Two friends want to be a firefighter. Who wants to be a teacher? Just one. And how many want to be a police officer? One, two. Okay, now let's look at our graph here. Which one has the most votes? Is it the teacher? No, it's the doctor. The doctor has the most votes. Which one has the least amount of votes? The teacher, you're right. The least means the smallest amount. Hmm, who has the same number? Which two are the same? The police officer and the firefighter. They both have one, two. One, two. Wow. Now, if you look at these two, just these two. Who wants to, who, which one has more? The police officer or the teacher? The police officer, good job. She has one, two, whereas teacher only has one. Now let's look on this side. Which one has the least? Or which one has the smaller amount? The fireman, you're right, he only has one. Two, good job, you guys, kiss your brains. Thank you for helping me, this was so much fun. Tomorrow we'll talk about our handy dandy notebooks, okay? Are you ready to say goodbye? Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. It is time to say goodbye to our friends, goodbye. It is time to say goodbye to our friends, goodbye. It is time to say goodbye, make a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to our friends. Woohoo! Bye, friends. <laughs>